Namaskaram everyone. Welcome to Navarasa Vajra Mudra, a celebration of Guru G. Venu's 60th Navarasa Sadhana workshop. I am Kapila Venu, Director of Natana Kairali Research Training and Performing Center for Traditional Arts, founded by Guru G. Venu in Irinyalakuda, Kerala. This event is dedicated to the memory of Maharaja Kartika Tirunal Balarama Varma, who was the Maharaja of Travancore and who is the author of a very important treatise in Sanskrit on theatre and acting called Balarama Bharatam. We begin with a webinar followed by performances by three very reputed artists who are also alumni of previous Navarasa Sadhana workshops. So welcome once again to everyone who has um, made the time to be with us here on this very happy occasion. We would like to begin by inviting our guest of honor for the inaugural address and our guest of honor is Dr. Anuradha Kapoor. I would like to say a few words of introduction about Dr. Anuradha Kapoor, even though she doesn't need an introduction, she is one of the most prominent figures in the Indian theater scene um, over several decades now. Uh, I'm just going to read out a little bit about Anuradha ji. Uh, Dr. Anuradha Kapoor is a renowned Indian theater director and a professor of drama. She has taught at the National School of Drama for nearly three decades. And she was also, uh, she also served as the director of uh, the National School of Drama for six years from 2007 to 2013. Dr. Kapoor, um, uh, did her master's and her PhD from the University of Leeds in uh, drama and theater arts in the UK, uh, following which she joined um, NSD as a, a professor and she continued to teach there for three decades and she uh, groomed some of the most uh, well-known uh, personalities in theater and Indian cinema, which include Seema Biswas, Irfan Khan, Rajpal Yadav, Nawazuddin Siddiqui and Adil Hussain are all her disciples and um, she has also uh, thereafter taught at several uh, in other institutions in India. Um, her work um, as a director is noted for its open and interactive nature. She has worked extensively in collaboration with uh, visual and video artists and filmmakers. And most recently, she has also ventured into the genre of opera with her production Daughters that was staged in Delhi in 2020, January. She is also an author and has written the book Actors, Pilgrims, Kings and Gods on the Ramalila, published by Seagull Books. And she also edited uh, the book Intercultural Acting and Perform Performer Training together with Philip Zarili and T. Shashitaran. And um, she has been awarded the Sangeet Natak Academy Award and J. Vasantan Lifetime Achievement Award among others for her lifetime contribution towards um, Indian theatre. It is um, truly an honor to have Anuradha ji um, inaugurate our celebration and I, I welcome Dr. Anuradha Kapoor. It's my pleasure and my honor as well as a privilege I have to say I must use all the three words to be here at the opening of the 60th Navra Sadhana workshop. I use these three words because I have seen the workshop grow and affect student practitioners, non-student practitioners, people who have practiced for years and have come back to look at 
the meaning of acting via this workshop and it has been a life-changing uh, experience from what I hear. All the students who began working on this Navara Sadhana Vidvenuji, I saw it closely from about 2008 when it was introduced in the National School of Drama as a long workshop of three months. And I hardly can remember any student who hasn't actually seen it as life-changing because the student suddenly felt that this Navara Sadhana is able to give a modern actor an understanding of acting in ways that many other acting pedagogies are simply not able to do. And I'm quoting and citing students when they said they rethought what was internal life, psychological realism, soliloquy, inner speech, that's monologue, in a monologue in Stanislavskian terms. They suddenly become aware of a life, a world around them in ways that is extremely liberating for an actor. They understand what breath can do from creating a mountain to making an ant on a leaf, to making the visage of Shiva and Parvati, to making the chariot in an air flying, to be able to make a universe on your face is, ma is I think, an extraordinary act for an act actor, for a performer, but it's also an extra uh, liberating act because there's nothing to stop you. Your observation, your face, is the topography, the map of the world, the universe, beyond it. And such an acting vocabulary to be shared with students over 60 workshops is a huge, huge achievement. It's also a great act of give, giving, which has allowed many practitioners another look at their craft. I'm very happy that this, these workshops have reached the number 60, which is abundant, but I'm hope, I hope it will reach another 60 for more and more people to take the benefit of such a wonderful teaching methodology that Venuji and practitioners and teachers around him have been able to share with students and practitioners not only in India but around the world. All the very best and I hope many more workshops are able to be given to students for them to understand what a craft, what a beautiful experience performance is and what a beautiful experience, what a sublime experience Navara Sadhana can give young people in terms of understanding where they are in the world. Thank you and all the very best. Thank you so much, Anuradha ji. I would uh, now like to invite Guruji Venu um, to talk to us about his journey um, as a performer, as a director, um, as an artist, scholar, and uh, the whole journey towards Navarasa Sadhana and, and his process of how he, he devised this uh, actor tra training method and all his experiences with uh, teaching, learning, etc. So I would uh, like to invite Guruji Venu to um, talk about his experiences with Navarasa Sadhana. Thank you, Anuradha ji, for giving such a wonderful introduction because you are the most suitable person to say about it because you have been witnessing our progress, our work at NSD. And every workshop when we conducted, at least 10 uh, such workshops, you were there uh, on the final day, you come and sit and watch and you made remarks, those remarks are really, I still remember the turning points. So my journey as an artist, how I arrived at Navarasa Sadhana is a very spontaneous thing. <laughs> I started my study of performing arts of Kerala as a student of Kathakali. I learned from Kirikata Shankarapulai 
in the Gurukula tradition, and then later on I joined the great Guru Kopinath, and I was with him for five years. He was both Kathakali performer and creative dancer. So his teaching of mudras really made me my imagination to develop beyond my capacity and this I wanted to document all these hand gestures. <coughs> so the great wish and dream of documenting made spontaneously a notation system came in my mind and I put it on paper and I started documenting it. So my research kind of study, uh, I, I don't want to use the term research, it is something different. <coughs> Deep study on mudra started according to my own way of understanding it. I learned practically and notated. Then my Guruji advised me to go to his guru, Guru Changanu Ram, like that I went to different, different, different masters. More than performing, I spent those days on this kind of work. By the time I, I was 23 years old, I have already recorded some 850 hand gestures of Kadagali. <laughs> then I came, I might travel to North India, and then I happened to meet Guru Shambhu Maharaj, Pandit Shambhu Maharaj in Bharatagara, Delhi. And also Balasar Siddhiyama performance I have seen two, three times. Then I came back to Kerala. I had the great fortune to see Amanur Madhava Chakra. Amanur Madhava Chakra at that time was around 60 years, 58 years old. And something which he showed with his breath involvement of breath in acting was extraordinary. I, this first time I experienced the effect of breath, it was something extraordinary kind of experience for me. I was really astonished the way he used the breath. So from interaction with him, I come to know that his guru was Kodungalur Bhagavad Kunjani Tandara. Then I started in search of this. There was a tradition of three generations of the scholars in Kodungalur, associated with the Kodungalur royal family. They, were, they have developed an active methodology based on Navarasa. So astonishing because when I learned Navarasa during my Kadagali training and uh, other kind of uh, my study, like uh, what existed these days, Navarasa is a very superficial thing. Every classical dance and learn. But this is something different. You can see the color changing and everything. and. So the environment, everything due to breath, was a discovery. So I, my, as usual, my own personal curiosity, I went several visit to Kodungandur and met his son, his relatives, nephews, nieces, and collected as much information as possible. And it's my personal collection. So in 19... <coughs> 
92, I wrote the first article on Surava. The technique was known as Surava, not as Navalasa Sadhana or anything like Suravayu. Suravayu means, Sura means the sound of breath. Sound of breath, not the musical Sura. So it is about breath and acting. And so it has become a full fledged acting <coughs> methodology. Guru Amanu Mahasaka studied, went to study this after his completing his uh, 18 years of traditional training from his uncles in Kuryatam. He went there. Like another person went there was Patikandri Ravli Man, Kathakali actor, Guru of Karamatalam, first Guru of Karamatalam, second Guru of Karamatalam. He studied there seven years, so there was enough uh, scope of training based on just the Navarasas. It was an astonishing thing for me and I, mean, I collected maximum information from all sorts of sources. But I was not, uh, I thought that I, I cannot teach or anything like that because I have not studied the Saravayu directly from the but Guruji had some training, my guru. He also was not very much willing just to teach these kind of trainings. He always says that I don't, when I teach Kuryata, I teach only Kuryata. <laughs> this was my special qualification. But all his fame name he achieved because of this. His blood of Bali. Many such kind of things. Every mudra, the way he highlights with a great understanding. So from Kodungan. So I studied with Guru Amanur and I became the performing artist of Kuryat. I never gave importance to that part of my life because I was performing as part of the truth. Some of the major roles, sometimes very minor roles and uh, it was just become part of my life. So performing, even though I perform, I never used to uh, that was importance to my performing life. I used to do all sort of roles to show you some of the clippings of my performing uh, life. This is a portion of Ramana looking at Sita.
different kind of it is drinking of the beauty of Sita Pana Dhruva. This, this portion is known as. There are also interpretations that she see the goddess. And the pattern of the eye movements of Kuriyatam developed from this Ramana looking at Sita. It can also be related to the symbol of goddess, the Sri Chakra. So it has so many meanings of that. It is, we used to do all these kind of very complicated things also. Studied directly from Guruji. All different kinds of roles I used to do those days. And uh, I, 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 the more, I mean, most uh, favorite role was Shukhan. Opportunities interact with several different different art forms of the world, especially the Beijing Opera of China. We worked with uh, Mr. Marke, the senior most director of Beijing Opera in Shanghai, and several no artists in Japan. So many interactions. Finally, I thought that we have to do something creative in our own field in Korea. So we. Uh, did the whole Abhijnana Shagudala of Kalyasa. The duration, original duration of the play was 13 hours. So I used to do a minor role in that, that is the fisherman. My favorite role. <coughs> so that was very fascinating. And I use all my creativity in, in depicting the fisherman who goes to
child was brought on the Kudiyatam stage. Kudiyatam is considered to be very uh, orthodox and, uh, the, you know, all masters <laughs> before that they never dreamed of bringing fish of man on the Kudiyatam stage. So it was a revolution. Anyway, Shagudana was highly accepted. But in continuation of that, or together with that, they had a wonderful project supported by Japan Foundation and organized by Sanskriti Prava of India. It was headed by Ms. Prime Lada Puri, the former uh, Director General of CCRT. To research, I was always telling her my great ambition to do research on Hasta Netra. So I, I wanted to do something in continuation of what I have got the material from Kodungandu tradition of Navara Sathana. So that was sanctioned for three years. We were exploring all the living exponents of Kathakali and Kuriya. All. We went, some of the people, we went to their house, like uh, Kathakali exponents, like Chathani, Kavankal Chathani Panikya, who was main dancer of Nirvani Sarafai. And afterwards, he retired from there and was hosting at his residence. So we made several visits to him and find out all the techniques of the eye, and so many things and devices. Created Param Kumar Narasan, Karamanda Ramakut Narasan, all the people. It was a wonderful study project. So with all this information, we started the active laboratory. <laughs> where Navarasa Sadhana actually developed it. So my first disciple in this field was Kapila, who my daughter, and we started composing some of the elements of what we have received from Kurungalu tradition, like Narasimha, when Kambaran enacted Raudra, it is the bhava of Narasimha he used to uh, bring. So we did Narasimha Udaram in the female acting a portion of Nangyakutu, and we did several other episodes. One of the episodes, uh, Makisha Sanavadini is the recent episode of uh, the acting laboratory, and uh, that you can see so much of development with the acting techniques. So the first experiments were done in Kuriyatam itself in the creative side of Kuriyatam.
pleasure to invite my good friend and um, um, Navarasa Sadhana alumni, Shabana Coelho. Uh, a few words about Shabana. Shabana is a performer and a writer originally from India, um, currently uh, living in New Mexico. Her solo plays mix poetry and dance drawn from flamenco and Indian classical dance theatre and include the good manners of colonized subjects. Once I was a stone, una piedra, ek patthar and the sun and shade of desire which is a work in progress. Her plays have been presented in New York as part of the Pan-Asian, Pan-Asia Repertory Theatre's New Works Festival, um, Hawaii, American Samoa, Los, Los Angeles and New Mexico. She received a fiction fellowship from the New York Foundation for the Arts and a Fulbright grant to Mongolia. Um, her documentaries have been broadcast on um, US public television, the Discovery Channel and BBC Radio 4, among others. Her stories and poems have appeared in numerous US and international periodicals. Um, she facilitates uh, creativity workshops and, and story consults as part of Far Away is Close. Um, resonant cross-cultural encounters to write, journey, embody the stories under the skin. So welcome Shabana and uh, thank you for being here and thank you for sharing your experiences. It's difficult to find words, really, to describe the immensity of the impact that the Navarasa Sadhana workshop with Venuji has had on my work, on my life. I, I took the workshop in 2016, three weeks in July, and the monsoons. And before that, I had been dancing flamenco and I'd been on the stage, but I was very young in theater making. But after the workshop, what grew was um, a solo play that mixed poetry and dance drawn from flamenco um, and Indian dance, some Bharatnatyam called The Good Manners of Colonized Subjects, and then a play that I just finished called Once I Was a Stone, Una Piedra, Ek Patthar. The, the work that I'm beginning to do more and more is mixes things, mixes genres, mixes forms. But all this began, I feel like, with the Navarasa Sadhana workshop in 2016. I feel like what it did was opened all these doors in me, but also um, all these rivers, all these underground rivers just began running and running and running. And I remember um, the feeling of being there, the heat and the rain sitting in the mornings and doing the eye exercises. I remember doing the improvisations. And most of all, I remember Venuji saying, after he had given us very precise directions on how to do something, he would say, just imagine it, it's okay. And that sentence, just imagine, was such an enormous gift. I mean, I still invoke that sentence, just imagine it's okay when I think I can't do something, when I can't evoke an emotion or can't, um, you know, pick up a step or, or can't figure out a scene, you know, or can't communicate. I just think of Venuji saying in that way that he has, just imagine it, it's okay. And that sense of um, all the experience he has in imagining and communicating, I feel we learned so much by what energy said and how the workshop was set up but also by what was unsaid 
and um, I don't know, I, <laughs> I'm here now in a small mountain town in Spain, resting a bit and walking a bit and, you know, it's hard to imagine like I will be on the stage again because when you are tired and you rest, you it's hard to imagine being on a stage again. But because of the Navarasa Sadhana workshop, because of that experience, that profound experience, I trust that when I get on stage again, I, I trust, I, I trust that this entry into drama will take care of me and I can't thank the energy enough. We also got to see during, um, during our workshop to see Kapala perform and that was a tremendous gift too. The encounter with Kuryatam, the way that it has, that it is used in the workshops uh, the encounter with something that's so old and unbroken, that lineage, is also another wordless and true part of the encounter uh, with the Navarasa Sadhana, as the way that Venuji has done it. So I just, um, I just want to give <laughs> my words as thanks, but also my silence. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Shabana. Um, next, I would like to invite Emma. Emma Jaster is a movement artist who has dedicated her life to the study and practice of physical expression. She works as a director, choreographer, teacher, consultant, activist, and mother to connect people with each other so that we may rise up together. Emma specializes in communion with the human being at the center of her work. Whether in the studio or on the street, she endeavors to build connections between people. Humor and the human body are her primary tools for storytelling and peacemaking. She uses the vehicle of theater to create greater presence of mind and body helping people to listen deeply and cult cultivate compassion both on stage and off. Welcome, Emma. Hello, everyone, and thank you, Venuji and Natana Kairali, for inviting me to participate today. I am a performer, teacher, and movement director working in the United States and around the world in theater, dance, and opera. I've trained in the US, France, Poland, Taiwan, and with Guruji in Kerala. I first went to Kerala in 2008, not knowing exactly what I would learn, but sort of feeling intuitively that there was some great wisdom in this place that would inform and enlighten the training I already had in physical theater, in mime, and classical Western acting and dance techniques. Um, I was greatly rewarded and deeply moved and inspired by the two months I spent there learning Mohiniyattam with Sri Nirmala and Kutiyattam with Venuji. Uh, my practice was forever changed, not only by the techniques I learned exercising the eyes, articulating the hands, and projecting the energy this far, this far this far and to the ocean, um, but also in the way that I practice, engaging the imagination 100%, understanding how the eye follows the hand and the mind follows the eye, which are all things that this audience uh, is very familiar with, but were entirely new to me coming from theater in the United States. So now, over 10 years later, I am so grateful for this unexpected opportunity to study again with Benuji and begin learning the Navarasa Sadhana technique. Um, I found the practice of the eight experiences to really awaken and deepen empathy simply, directly, and extremely effectively. The practice also of each resa and of moving through and between them um, reminds me of the work of the Buddhist Thich Nhat Hanh, uh, who speaks of letting emotions move through you like weather patterns, like a storm uh, that comes in and goes out. So this ability to move not only into an emotion fully and completely, but also to let it go and move out from it 
feels uh, essential to our ability as performers to express completely and also for our own mental health. Um, and beyond the actor, it is a skill that uh, is really useful to any human trying to live fully and openly uh, in this world. Uh, as a professor, which is I will be teaching in the fall, um, to students, uh, we're working with students who work in foreign policy um, and international government. And I am really grateful and especially eager to pass on the teachings, these specific teachings of empathy and emotional agility, which are embedded in the Navarasana and Navarasa Sadhana teachings. So uh, I'm excited for that. Just to give a little bit of context to the work I will share today, uh, as you will see, I am not a practitioner of traditional Indian performance, but I have found the techniques shared in this workshop and in all of the work done at Natana Kaivali that uh, it is a deeply moving and universally applicable uh, to performance of all varieties. So this is an excerpt from a visual album of songs of operas and American spirituals produced last year amidst the uh, Black Lives Matter movement here in the United States. The song is from the story of Malcolm X, who was an important human rights activist, is an important uh, figure in the civil rights movement and the movement for Black Lives. In this scene, he has just been arrested by uh, police and he is being arrested for his activism and being questioned. So he challenges his uh, interviewers uh, by saying, you want the truth, but you don't really want to know uh, because the truth of his life is very hard and uh, the truth of his family's treatment is impossibly cruel. So uh, I worked with the singer and with the dancers to uh, develop gestures and choreography to help tell the story and also to tap into their um, emotions uh, connected to this song and to their own experiences um, living in the United States. So uh, you will see the use of gesture, uh, facial expression, and an array of emotions shared by each performer. Uh, if I get to do it again, I know the performance will only be improved and deepened by incorporating all that I have learned since then in these workshops with Benaji. Thank you again. It's such a pleasure to be here. Thank you so much, Emma, for this presentation. It was very, very interesting, very inspiring. Um, next, um, I would like to invite Dr. Srilata Vinod, who's a long, again, a long time friend of our family. Um, um, I just read a little bit about Shri, Dr. Srilata Vinod. She is a Bharatanatyam dancer of exceptional elegance subtlety and grace and holds strong repute as an amazingly intellectual and creative artist. She is the recipient of the Kalai, Kalai Mamani Award from the government of Tamil Nadu, which is the highest honor for an artist uh, uh, in Tamil Nadu. Um, she is a consummate dancer, a vibrant and creative performer and a gifted and delightful choreographer. She commands great respect for her classicism and is deeply emotive in her abhinaya. Her art combines the tradition bound purity of her gurus, the Dhananjayans, as well as an infectious and disarming joy in the inner realm of art. So lovely to have you here, Srilata Chechi. Most welcome. Thank you for sharing your experience with us. Namaskaram. I'm delighted to convey my heartiest congratulations to both Venuji and Natana Kairali for this unique milestone that they have achieved, the 60th Navarasa Sadhana workshop. The workshop has changed in nature from an insight to a virtual one, but it has been able to reach out to artists far and wide. I had the good opportunity of participating in an earlier workshop, and that had been a really illuminating and humbling experience for me. His classes on the control of breath, to make it work through your emotions, to sustain it, was something that I will always cherish. Thank you so much for all those lessons that I learned, and I'm sure 
these workshops will be very useful for the many participants who will take it up in the future. Once again, my heartiest congratulations and best wishes. Thank you. I would like to invite uh, our good friend, um, Sri Ramesh Nambishan, who is um, a cultural activist, so to speak, uh, a very renowned and very efficient organizer, uh, both uh, here in Kerala and also he, he has organized several uh, important festivals of traditional performances, mainly from Kerala in, uh, in Dubai and, uh, and elsewhere also. And um, he is just a wonderful friend for any artist, an art lover, an enthusiast, and, um, and has been a keen observer of the process of Navarasa Sadhana from, for several years now. Um, over to you, Ramesh Atta. Thank you for being here with us. Namaskaram. Uh, yes, really honored, and I am so happy from uh, to get an invitation from Venuji. I am so much obliged to Venuji, and I cannot say no to him. That is the main problem in me. As a Rizika, I have don't have much space over here. Uh, still, he is inviting me as a Rizika from the native place, and uh, I have been going through workshops over here i mean keen observed the outcome of a performance how they transformed before the navarasana when they joined in the navarasana and they, how they are actually transformed to a different level that's a magic he has that magic is so much exciting as a outside resiga like me is always exciting what is the magic he is doing in the navarasana he in, in the initial part of uh, whenever I relocated to my place, he never entertained me to see the workshops. So he controlled me that uh, it is not for you. You are invited for the lunch or the dinner or the, or the last day or the first day. But in between, he never entertained me in the initial part. But after a point of time, uh, he is slowly accepting me and I am a keen observer. So my areas commenting on these things is very, very limited. So I'm so excused to all that connaissance and the performance over here. But uh, I would like to comment uh, only one thing. That this is this, this kind of a big treasure uh, where he connect or took from the Amanu Mathur Chakya and he, he connected with the Kodungulur um, Kogulagam. And uh, that, that treasure he connected to the contemporary level, how he connected with the modern or uh, this current uh, performing uh, performers, how he transferring this knowledge. This is absolutely amazing. Uh, this is really underestimated in the art spectrum right now. I, I would say like that that much only because as an organizer, as a inviting the so many artists and so many art connoisseurs, uh, Venuji, I don't know how much is uh, aware in the Kerala, especially Kerala and uh, as well as in India, is much, much under recognized. Uh, performer even though he's a absolutely amazing mentor that is the key word which i want to say is a mentor he never touches the performer or the in in, in their unique performs in, in each forms he never touches he magically control his or her emotions and uh, he had done a magic over there and after that period of the workshop in the first phase or the second phase they are slowly transforming and each artist has conveyed that message to me personally as well as I can also observe in the performances. I would like just to share one, two examples. Uh, That's two artists are so from my native place. Like one is Mira Srinarayanan and one is Mira Nanya. Uh, I would like to say Mira Srinarayanan, just to start from the Mira Srinarayanan. Uh, from the Mira Srinarayanan, from the last uh, face of the old day, old uh, college days, I have been seeing her performances. The problem in her, uh, I have seen, I have also discussed with her this point. Because on the stage, when she connected with the performance of the character of the bhava, each bhavas, she is plunging into that form or that bhava, she is not unable to control herself and he can, she cannot come out from that feeling or that emotion. So that is, as an, as an observer, as a performer, uh, the ability to control the emotion from the each uh, each situation 
that is very clinical engineering skill you don't have any property outside you only have to deal with your internal uh, emotions and controls so you are a performer as well as a, you are at the control of that emotions as a um, observer so performer as an observer combined with an in one person and doing in the uh, delivery on the stage or performances this is something unique how you can control that that can that kind of engineering uh, you will not get any so called academic or so called uh, institutes so from that angle perspective uh, i asked her how you can able to control it so because she learned from the venu ji just just to observe it just to control it he he keep on mentoring to her so any emotion any character any kind of performances what she is doing in this stage right now that that's a scenario what or that that's a chewer from a normal indulging towards the one kind of bhava and she is not able to come out that you can see that she is very well crafted very well well um, controlled over that each scenes it you can easily identify and second one one actor one performer is meera nangiyar meera nangiyar is well renowned artist in from the kalakshetra i have seen her performances after that uh, coming out from the kalakshetra and uh, she also joined in the navarasa first phase i think so after that i have seen two three performances over here itself in kodan manikin as well as the swadhirdan festival so that each padam and this thing she told me after the performances because i told her that she was so amazing and uh, exp that we, as a rasika you, you can easily touch with that uh, as a narrator or the performer you can easily connect with that performer the connectivity you can easily uh, it as a rasika i am the beneficiary so as a beneficiary i am getting that rasa is in a different way after that course i really uh, communicated to her so what she told that earlier is she was actually jumping into the one bhava the jumping is not the way of uh, not the right way of uh, approaching to each any kind of situation so venu ji has cl- clinically uh, tackled her how to connect with how can you can evolve to that each situation how you can that journey that journey she is enjoy so that she experience that journey and slowly coming out from that one scene to another scene or one resort to another vedijari bhava or sanjari whatever that is each situation he she can able to manage it so these two uh, examples uh, i want to share with all the performers or those who are joined over here or those who are listening from this uh, medium uh, i want to just uh, say two things that there is uh, two sector to classification one is those who are attended the navara sadhana sadhana or those who are not attended the navara sadhana these are the two classification right now in india or even abroad so as a performer how a, a mentor like him make an impact this is a pressure what i just i want to mention in the modern society or in the all that academicians all that uh, those who are the performer we have to address to the next generation that is a responsibility that is a responsibility of each one of us how we can inspire from venuji the treasure how we can transfer to the next gen generation this is higher responsibility because he is crafted more than four decades i think i think so the, the, the knowledge what he has got it from the venuji sorry madhav madhav chakya and he has gone through all the text all that experience so he is seeing things very macro view so internationally also those performances he has seen all that national established performance performances he has seen so he has gone through all that experiments and experiences uh, it poured into these kind of uh, workshops so the beneficiaries those who are attending this workshop uh, we are getting a, all the knowledge were from the one tap so it is not easy thing he should be much much more way it should be addressed and he, he should be rewarded it was really under uh, <laughs> i would say like that uh, all that bureaucrats and all the decision maker politicians whatever that uh, those who are ruling should be aware of it 
and uh, the, the 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 knowledge was she has actually transformed to the next generation is amazing i don't want to take much time because the performances are on the on the way so so many performances and those are, those are so many attendees are uh, on the queue or uh, i want to listen also so i don't want to take much time thank you kabila thank you venu ji for giving me an such an opportunity and uh, as he say indirectly says that nataraja is a cosmic dancer performer of the performer the dancer of the dancer he is in there in between the classes he would say like that uh, i have seen in from the myth like uh, just trying to connect with that myth because when you go to the etumanur shiva temple you can see pradoshan nrtam that pradoshan nrtam uh, you can see in the post and so many devadas and those so many uh, spectators watching his performances and one of the perform uh, uh, that uh, viewer is shiva itself or himself that that shiva himself is watching his performance it means that is the technology or that is that crux he is actually using in the Uh, navarasa adan also so because here the property is is not the outside it is internal the anubhava there what is mentioned is bhava and anubhava that anubhava properties is not external a property we have to handle with your own thoughts your own mind your own intelligence and your own emotions that nothing is outside is internal so this cleansing part of the workshop and the whatever that personal life emotions or whatever that personal uh, kind of treatment what you are giving to the to the form as a performer you are giving after this workshop he or she will be elevated that is kind of a magic i have seen so many batches so many batches around i heard more than 500 plus perform performances he has seen i don't know the number exact number if a one person can make this much impact it should be awarded like anything so that much should be i want to just to communicate to you all as a resiga and thanks because this space is always i am giving so much experiences more than 3 decades because my teenage onwards i am seeing the madhav um, chakya's performances then venu ji is uh, even uh, uh, kapilas as well as uh, nirmala teachers and so many performances from the outside so i am so much obliged to become again and again whenever i come to here i see as a temple mandir so so i divine feel is with me just i want to share you all that as a resiga i great I mean consider him as a one of the top most mentor right now in the world thank you thanks a lot i don't want to extend much uh, on this so thank you kapila thank you venuji bye